So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you the fastest way to check an alternator. You'll need two things. Well, just one, actually. If you have a voltmeter, it's really all you need. But I also use a test light, and I'll show you why. So every alternator will have a big wire on it, a big fat wire. And this one's got a little cover on it, and I've got it removed. And it'll usually have a nut on it like that. And what you do is you take your voltmeter and uh, the positive end. The negative end you put to ground. You can also just put the negative end onto the alternator like that, but I've got it grounded right to the battery. And the only reason for the vice grips is because I only have two hands, guys. You can, you can hold it normally. Anyways, the voltmeter needs to be set on 12 volts. Or uh, actually, I think you set it up like up to 20 volts on DC voltage. And that little symbol right there means DC voltage. See, it's a volt with a line and dots under it. That's DC voltage. And then you got to find like a like a 20 within the range of 20 or something like that because this is a 12 volt system. So take your lead, your positive lead, and just hold it on that hold it on that uh, wire right there. Be careful not to short it out to ground because you get a big nasty spark because it goes straight to the battery. The other end, like I said, on negative, and then look at your voltmeter. And we got 12 and a half volts right now. The car's not running. Now we'll fire it up, and it should be, it'll probably be about 14 and a half. So I'll go in here and start it up. All right, so now we're running. We got 13 and a half volts, which is fine. 13.7. That's it, guys. All right, guys, the next test, this is where the test light comes in. And what you're gonna do is hook up your negative, this is the negative side of the battery. You hook up your clip right there. Hook the connector part of your battery there, the terminal that hooks onto your battery, hook that to your, the other end of your test light. Now you're gonna have a test light and it's gonna be on. Okay, just like that, guys. After about 15 or 20 minutes, this light should go, should go off or turn very dim so you can hardly even see it. If it does not do that, then you have some sort of draw. See, after 15 or 20 minutes, what'll happen is your, the computers on your car will go to sleep is what they call it. So they'll require very, very little energy, not even enough usually to light a light bulb like this. So if the light stays on after 15 or 20 minutes, then what you need to do is go over here to your alternator and you unhook it here and the other connector. There's two connectors normally on an alternator and just unhook them. When you unhook those two connectors, this light should go out. Um, if you have a hood light, guys, a light underneath your hood, you need to take that bulb out before you do this test. So then after you, t like I said, after you unhook it from the alternator, this light should go out instantly. If that's the case, if this light goes out instantly after you unhook the alternator, that means that your alternator is drawing your battery down dead, see, while you sleep at night or while it sits for a long period of time. If the light stays bright after you've unhooked this alternator, then you've got something else drawing energy from your car, drawing power from your car, and it's not the alternator in that case. Hopefully this video helps you guys out and makes it simple for you to test your alternator to see if you got a good one or a bad one. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.